guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dania and you are watching another Spicy Mommy Vlogmas video. Like I promised you guys in my vlog from yesterday, I'm gonna be making a seafood boil. It's actually gonna be specifically a shrimp boil. <laughs> My circles are coming over and I had been promising them that I was gonna make this for ever already. So I'm finally getting down to it. So the format for this video is gonna be a little bit different than like my last couple of videos where I've cooked with you guys and made cocktails cause I'm kind of on the go, go, go. So I don't have time to get all fancy with my setup and all of that. So I'm just gonna get started. I'll be telling you guys as we go along, like the ingredients that you're gonna need. I pretty much like boil everything and cook everything. And I serve the sauce on the side so that you can go ahead and dip it as you, you know, want. That being said, let's just go ahead and get started. So for starters, I do have this big olla right here. For the amount that I'm gonna be making, you need at least like 20 cups of water in here. I already have it starting to boil. Just one box of shrimp and it's the shrimp with the head on them. I know a lot of people get kind of weirded out by that. You're not gonna eat the head, obviously. It's a four pound box. So I'm making four pounds of shrimp boil. So the first thing you're gonna need is a yellow onion. And so you're gonna need the whole thing. I'm just gonna cut the ends off and peel it. I hope my lighting's okay, but like I said, I don't have time to get fully set up right now. I just on one end, like cut down like this and across, and then we're just gonna dump it in to the water. You're gonna need a garlic head like this. I cut the top so it leaves parts of the garlic exposed so the flavor can kind of creep out in the water, but I don't peel them or anything. So it's just gonna look like this. And then I'm gonna dump it into the water as well. You're gonna need a lemon. Let me go wash it. Cut it in half, dump it into the water. I get these little uh, packs. You're gonna need some dill. You're gonna need some thyme. And then I have some parsley right here. So those are the three herbs that go into the water. This is kind of how much of the thyme I'm using, how much of the dill I'm using, and how much of the parsley I'm using. So rinse them and then dump them into your water. Dumping them in, okay. Okay, now we're gonna get our seasoning. This is the seasoning that I'm gonna be using. Creole sauce and I'm using the original, not the spicy. Grandma and Grandpa here. Hi. Okay, so then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of that seasoning into the water. I'm gonna add two sticks of this in here. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that goes into the water. So we're gonna let it boil and simmer for a little while before we start dumping things in. I'm gonna start prepping all of the stuff that goes inside, like the shrimp and all of that. And I will probably do a quick little voiceover for you guys on what it is that you're gonna need. I decided on one pack of sausage per two people, one piece of corn per person. Then go ahead and start off by cutting your sausages into pieces like this one. It'll be a lot easier for everyone to eat. Also note that I have tried different kinds and this one is by far the one I like the best. We're gonna add it into our broth as the first ingredient. I feel like it helps give it a really good flavor, both the broth and the sausage. Next, go ahead and start cleaning up all of your corn. Get rid of all of the husks. I also break the pieces in half. I feel like they're easier for everybody to enjoy, as well as they just look that much more aesthetically pleasing. After this, go ahead and get it all rinsed up, and then we're gonna go and dump it into our broth. Now, at this point, you see all of the herbs starting to float at the top. Go ahead and remove as many of them as you can. The potatoes, I did one and a half potatoes per person. Wash and cut them in half and also remove the onion, the garlic, and the halves of the lemons. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the sauce now. We are preparing the sauce off of the heat for now. Put in your two sticks of extra creamy salted butter in there, three tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. If you want it spicier, feel free to add as much as you want. 
you are now going to squeeze in the juice of two whole lemons. Also remove all of the seeds that may have fallen in there from the lemon. You don't want to ruin someone's day. You are going to be getting your garlic. I opted for the pre-minced one and I dump in three tablespoons. Back to the Creole seasoning we used at the beginning. Pour in two scoops of that. Followed by a half a tablespoon of paprika. Followed by dumping in a small bunch of finely chopped parsley. Once your potatoes are soft and your corn is fully cooked, turn off the heat. Turn on the heat on your sauce and start getting it all mixed together. The shrimp are defrosted and washed. Stir, stir, stir. With the heat off, go ahead and dump in your shrimp. Make sure that you are pushing them in and getting all of them fully covered and submerged. You want to make sure that you stir it well so they all cook evenly. Then you are going to drain them and serve them on whatever it is that you're going to be serving them on. Here is my sauce for easy pouring. In the end, we decided to just pour the sauce all over all of the seafood boil. The sauce was very mild. Like I said, add more of the hot sauce if you want it hotter, but this was perfect for all of us to enjoy. I served it with some cut up slices of the lemon. I do want to note this ended up being enough food for four to maybe seven, eight people. So make sure that you adjust as needed. So it's been about an hour, I want to say, since we ate, and I'm still feeling super, super full. The food was so good, and I did kind of have to switch my plans as to how I was recording the videos. I kind of had to try something new just to make the video work because I thought I was going to have enough time, but I was running late per usual, so my suegros got here and I was still in the middle of cooking, but since they were visiting us, you know, I didn't want to make it weird. I wanted everybody to still be able to conversate and uh, speak freely. So I didn't want to include the um, audio for my recording. So I did a voiceover. I hope it was still pretty easy for you guys to follow. If you have any questions and you want to try this recipe, um, just comment down below and I will, you know, answer the best that I can. Uh, it is pretty easy. I feel like it's one of those recipes where it's kind of hard to go wrong. This recipe is very flexible for you to like tweak you can really add any kind of seafood in here um you can definitely change the amounts of like the veggies that you put in and like the sausage and all of that to so just kind of tweak it with whatever works for you normally in the past we always go ahead and just like do the boil and then we dip our shrimp and stuff but this time i made extra sauce since there was four of us we all just decided that we would just pour it over on top of the seafood and it actually worked out very very well it was so so good I had almost like a whole tray left over so i just had my suegros take it with them make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below are you a seafood lover or not i feel like if you like seafood you love seafood and if you don't like seafood you hate seafood am i right either way give this video a big thumbs up remember mommy stay spicy stay positive and i will see you guys on the next one peace